Good afternoon, and welcome to this session of the Queen's Roundtable. I'm Evangelist Prophetess Valerie Ammons, and I have some good news to share with you today. Um, I just want to say that I love all the queens, uh, and I am this. This show is to empower the queens and, and to give them information that will be a, that will help them empower themselves. So my heart is kind of heavy today because of some of the things that I've been seeing and hearing um, over social media and um, or, or conversations that I've been having. And my heart is heavy because I, I, I want so much for our queens to be what God wants them to be, that virtuous woman. So without further ado, I'm going to go through the throne. Almighty God, in your precious son, Jesus' name, if and when I said something that I misrepresented you, God, I repent right now in Jesus' name. God, I thank you for giving me this opportunity, for choosing me for this time. God, and I praise and thank you that what you call that, that you will uplift, that you will glorify you, God, but to you always, the glory is yours, but that you will do the uplifting of the Queen's round table. And God, I ask you to open up the hearts of the Queens, open up their minds of the Queens, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, God. Amen. And again, welcome to the Queen's round table. I have been on social media uh, talking to young women and who are not balancing love. It is heartbreaking because I too, at one time, did not balance love. And I know the valleys that it can take you, and I know that the about the valleys that it can keep you in. And whenever you're not balancing love, and whenever you're putting the person that you love before God, you are so out of order. And when you become out of order, you get from under the, 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 uh, the umbrella or the ark of safety of having God's protection. Uh, in Job, it says, uh, Satan tells God, I can't get to Job because you have a hedge around him. Well, the same hedge that God has around Job or had around Job, he has around us. And we, in, we build our hedge by walking righteously, by living righteously, by uplifting our brothers and sisters, by being... Um, a person who intercedes for them, no matter where they are and who they are or what color they are, we are interceding on behalf of them. And this is my purpose here. I want to give accurate information so you can sit down and think about it. A lot of the men, queens, that we, uh, that we Choose. See, that's the word we choose. We don't wait for God to send us. Uh, uh, I believe it's in Proverbs 18 and 22 where it says, uh, uh, a man findeth a, a wife. It, so that means he look and you don't. But even when someone comes to you, you should research that person. I know I say this over and over. You should research that person. Do they have, uh, what do they have in their, in, in their gene uh, Pooh, what, what's going on there? Is there mental illness is there? Is there bitterness? Is there, what, what's really going on there? You know, are, are, are they God-fearing people? What's going on? And, and can I deal with what's going on? Does it go along with my plan? You know, I, I, I sat the, uh, in church and I listened to my pastor say that his wife wouldn't follow him. And he asked his wife, why won't you follow me? And she said, because you don't know where you're going. Okay? And that puts something on his mind. See, queens, it's what we allow. It's what we accept. See, she would not accept anything. And he loved her. And she might have loved, I, but no, she did love him. But she stood her ground. She stood on her standard. She held her banner high and said, I'm not going nowhere with you. You don't know where you're going. And plus, 
you got a tendency to go someplace I don't want to go. And as long as you go there, I'm not going to go there with you. And, and, and I remember um, my daughter-in-law telling my son the same thing. Uh, Carol telling Aaron, uh, I will follow you to the ends of the earth, but you got to be doing the right thing. So this is what I'm telling you. Even if the person that comes to you and they might have a shady background, you can turn that around. Yes, you can, by what you accept. I will not accept this. Simple as that. I will not accept it. I am going to move on. So now this is what you have to do if you want me. And no, and it's not an ultimatum. It's a choice. You can either choose to be with me or you can choose the worldly life. So now I'm going to go on because I'm not going to stay with you and jeopardize my children, my home, or my integrity. I'm not going to do that. So I am going to stay under the ark of safety. I'm going to stay under the umbrella of God because I, whenever I step out from under that umbrella, I get drenched. Not just rained on, but drenched. You don't want to be drenched. You got to always be thinking about what's, what do you want and, and, and what will you take and how will I make it? You, you, you cannot allow wrong decisions. And, and, and wrong decisions usually come when we're in love with the wrong person. You cannot allow those decisions and that move to keep you in the valley when God wants you on the mountaintop. And if you do not, con if you do not stop and say, hey, th th this, uh, this ain't working for me. You know, uh, uh, what am I getting out of this? What, what, is this going to help me reach my goal? Why can't we be reaching the same goal together? Because see, you have to have something in common and it cannot be anything um, that's not going to make you successful and prosperous. In Joshua 1 and 8, he talks about, you know, if you look after, if you seek me, I will make your way sex, successful, successful and prosperous. That's what you're looking for. And success and prosperity comes not just from money. It comes from peace. It comes to bring you peace, you know, and because and, see money stuff and things is a given. You're going to always have them. Because that's what God's promise. He said he would take care of us. He would supply all our needs. But he wants you to be a strong queen. He wants you to, you have his, his, um, his you're made in his image and likeness. And God is strength. He has enough to pass on to all of his children. So you are strong. So why are you allowing love, which is supposed to, to, to lift you, weaken you? It should never take you in the valley. You should never uh, give up what your desires are for someone else that does not, for someone else's desire that does not make sense. It's not going to bring you anything, but maybe take something away from you, maybe send you to jail, maybe get your children taken from you. And, and, and we're all on Facebook fighting. It's my man, it's my baby daddy. If he's not your husband, that's anybody, man, and probably anybody, baby daddy. So why are you not letting that sink in into your spirit and let your spirit lead you and, and, and ask God to show you to be the man that he's sending you so you'll know who he is. And stop treating yourself, that's right, treating yourself, like you're not that beautiful, outstanding, extraordinary queen that deserves the very best. Because now if Jesus came that you would have life in heaven more abundantly. And if you end up with a man that's taking you away from abundance, uh, I think that's your choice. I think that's what you're doing. And I think that's what you're going to be reaping. And it's not going to be abundance. It's going to be sorrow, sadness, and probably uh, a jail term. Because, see, quick money is just it, gone like that. But that quick money will give you a sentence like that. So you need to stop and start thinking, queens, and start thinking, what, what, am I, what have I invested? What have I invested? Okay, I've invested this into my life. 
I'm not going to allow love with somebody that, that don't, that's not going to school and got a minimum wage job. And I'm not saying they're a bad person, y'all. Come on now. I'm not saying that. I am saying, but if they're not on the same page that you're on and you unequally yoked with them, I bet you that's probably not the man that God sent for you. And if you can't, if he doesn't listen to you and value what you have to say, your input, because you you're bringing something to the table. Now, I'm not saying that that uh, people are happy when they have uh, a man that maybe makes less than they do because see, he's bringing something else to the table. You understand what I'm saying? So he might not have as much money. He might not make as much money as you, but he might love you unconditionally. He may be building you up and then because somebody gets built up and then you bring the other one up with you. OK, because see, it, it, but if you go to college and you stay in college, for an example, and you graduate from college, you have the opportunity to meet somebody that has the same mindset that you do. You don't want anybody to change your mindset and take you from 25 cent to a nickel. That's not good sense. That's not making your way prosperous and successful. Now, and then too, we we so easy women to take uh, some you, to fall in love with somebody else's boyfriend and uh, that he been with for thirty years, or somebody else's husband that he done been with for thirty years. So uh, why would you do that? And even if you didn't know it at the beginning, well, it was too late. I had fell in love with him. No, it wasn't too late. It was not too late. It was the beginning. The beginning of you to say, God help me through this. It was a beginning of you to sh for you to open up uh, your arms to God and, and say, take me to that secret place and hide me in the 91st numbers of some. I need to be I need to be so close to you, God, till I, I can't see the rest of the world. The Satan's dots, they pierce me tremendously. And, and, and I, I, I can't make it. I, please take me to that secret place. And God, it says that he will take you to the secret place and hide you. God has got a way out for you. Don't just settle for anything because God has the best for you. And I'm not saying that you might not come up together, that, you know, that, that we can start from the bottom and come up to the top. But we at least got to be on the same page. We can't, you can't be at, at, the, at the end of the book and he at the beginning of the book. And y'all don't have the same mindset that I'm going to help him get to the end. Because more often than not, you help them get built up. And if you are not standing your ground and saying, this is my worth, this is what I bring to the table. You accept me because I am doing what, what God has told me to do. I'm trying to build you and lift you up. And then they go run off with somebody else. So, so you always got to be looking out for you and them. Just like you look out for your children. You're looking out for you and them. But always know that God is the head of my life. And that when things ain't go, isn't going right, ask God to reveal them to you. And he will. You want to make good decisions. You don't want to. You, 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 you have invested so much. And, and here you are crying about, I got so little. I got these obstacles. You serve a God that made the heavens and the earth, who set the stars blazing in the sky, who parted the Red Sea. That's the God you, that, serves, that you serve. And that loves you unconditionally and will withhold no good thing from you. So when you're getting in a relationship, ask God to expose whether this man is married. They had something on, on TV about uh, Kenya Moore. She, she done fell in, she's falling in love with a married man. Did you bother to research that man? No, couldn't have. Or you'd have found out that he was married. You don't research anything before you go um, falling in love. Research them and don't let love take you in the valley. You, God has given you the authority over the enemy. Love is supposed to be something beautiful, uplifting, empowering. And you know where you just be kind of silly. You so in love. 
Don't let that love take you in the valley because because uh, a man, he's not treating you right and you accept that. Oh, my God, that is the worst mistake you can make is to stay with somebody who mistreats you. Because when you turn the corner and you realize your worth, it's going to be hard to get him to see it because he he wants what's been working for him. See, it's what you start with. It's what you'll end up with. Stop giving up your life. Stop putting your life on the back burner for somebody who's dabbling in drugs or, or cheating on you or beating you or disrespecting you. Don't, don't, don't even do that. Don't waste your time. Ask God to send you the man that he has for you and tell him you being, you, you, you're waiting and, and you're waiting for that man. And, and, and be waiting. Don't be dabbling in nothing. Be waiting. But waiting, looking like you represent God. Um, when you walk out the door, Queens, you represent God. Represent him in the manner in which he deserves. You should look your best. You should talk your best. You should wear your best. And you should act your best. Because you are made in his image and likeness. All these things are available to you. You have got to want them. And you have got to utilize them. There's a scripture in the Bible. Don't just be a hearer of the word of God, but be a doer of the word of God. When you become a doer of the word of God, then that's when your benefits start pouring down on you. Just like you were drenched when you tear down, when you get out from under the umbrella, when you stay under the umbrella, there is a, an, a, an awakening and, an, a, and a window of heaven opening out, pouring you out a blessing. Stop. Letting your feelings lead you. That's your soulish realm. Stop letting that lead you. Let your spirit lead you. Let God bring you into this beautiful thing, this beautiful emotion, love. Let God steer you there. Oh, my God, I know because I steered myself wrong in many occasions, many occasions. And I had to come back and start all over again. And then I had four children that I had put in bondage because I'm allowing love to, to take me out of balance. And, and you know why? Because you're not being taught that, number one. That's, that's the biggest thing. We're not being taught how to balance love. My mother, she never taught me that, and I'm, and I'm not putting down my mother. I love my mother dearly because she wasn't taught that, and my grandmother wasn't taught that, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They were not taught that. God wants you to know about structure. He wants you to know about preparation. He wants you to know about order. He wants you to know about balance. In everything, there is balance. Don't let love, the greatest emotion in the world, the greatest commandment, God said, love your brother like you love yourself. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. You have got to do just that. Love yourself. Love you. How can you actually love somebody else because you're not understanding? You're not understanding the word because you're not going to a place where the, the word is being taught. You have to be taught who you are and whose you are. You are, I am Valerie Ammons. I am a child of the king, which has endowed me to live abundantly. What do I have to do? I have to pay my tithes and offering. I have to be baptized. I have to take communion. I have to help the widow and the orphan. Those are the things that God says I should do. 
So my way will be successful and prosperous with not just money. I ain't worried about money. See, we want to make money be about everything. That's how a lot of us women get caught. We're going to get the sugar daddy because sugar daddy can help. He's not a sugar daddy. That's a toxic daddy because more than likely sugar daddy got a wife. Oh, and when you mess with God's holy matrimony, you have totally burned your heads down and your umbrella won't open up again. I just want to keep it real. I just want to tell you what is, as the kids say, keep it 100. I just want to keep it 1 million. First seek God and his way of doing things, Matthew 6 and 33, and all things will be added to you. But you know what? You got to work the word. I, I, I read the word. Did the, what, what, so do you utilize the word? Or did you just read a book? Or did you, did you just hear a sermon? Did you digest the sermon? Did you, did you say, hey, I can use this here and there. I'm not going to let anybody do this to me. See, because matrimony is holy. You don't want to mess around with nobody's husband. Wrong move. Totally takes you away from God. Matrimony is holy. You don't want to mess around with somebody because they dealing with little drugs and they got some money. They can buy you a few things. So what? You can buy you a few things. Get you an education. Learn you. Love you. Desire God's way and God will direct your path. Stop allowing a good looking man with a good car come and whisper those good nothings in your ear. You know, tell her she pretty, she'll fall. You ought to know you pretty when you looked in the mirror. You don't need anybody to tell you you pretty. You saw that when you looked in the mirror. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me how we together can enhance the kingdom of God. It hurts me deeply. Because this is my purpose, is to empower females, queens, to know who they are and whose they are and how much they are worth. And peace be unto you.